Hello. I'm going to attempt to do a quick and dirty tutorial on the song Zoe, It Ripped Me Apart, which was an acoustic single that I released in 2019. First things first, the song is in drop D, so if your guitar is tuned to standard tuning, you're just going to want to drop the E string down to the D. So easy way to do it is just uh, pick the D string and then tune the E down to it to match it. So then when you play the top three strings, it's essentially your power chord. And then you just get to bar over top of it. All right, so this song starts out on, uh, usually I do like a little bit of uh, pre-roll to this and kind of figure it out on my own and figure out how to word everything. I have not done that, so bear with me here. So this is uh, starts on a D. So you've got the basic power chord position, but you put your middle finger down right beside the same string your pinky is on and then let go of your pinky. So it's got these three notes. So it starts out and it kind of does a little, you kind of put a hammer on your uh, pinky every once in a while. So that's the first chord in the verse. And then the second chord in the verse is you go down to basically a, uh, a power chord. This would be G, even though it's on this fifth fret because you've tuned down. So you have those three fingers there and then and then you'll add your ring finger to uh, the G string. And then your pinky finger is gonna be playing on the B string and it's gonna start out here one fret over, kind of as if you're playing those power chords on the fourth string and then slide back in, so. So all together it goes. So that's all of the verse. And then in the chorus, you're already gonna be in this, this formation here, this chord. You're just gonna slide up a fret. Don't tell me. So that part you figure it out and then what happens is, uh, I don't know, I think verse, chorus, verse, chorus goes into a bridge which is just instrumental. You're keeping the same pattern that you played through in the chorus and you just slide all the way up here to the 12th fret and you're doing the same thing with your pinky finger starting out bringing it in one fret and then go down to the 9th fret, so pinky same position but then your middle finger goes on to that fret there, so. I think that's all of the stuff from the song. And when it ends uh, at the end, I think I play it differently live than I do how I recorded it. But uh, you just kind of hold out some of those chords instead of strumming through. And that's Zoe.